You know, every border we do, there's a problem. There is loads of trucks parked up now. Not on mine, there's no bikes shipping out of that side. Like that. After spending the past four years driving our UK van around the world, we arrived at the top of Thailand. But following some visa issues, we had no choice but to turn around and head south, back to Malaysia. But heading back to Malaysia may not be as easy as we thought. So we spoke to the Carne company yesterday and they basically said that we do actually need it to go back into Malaysia. With the Carne needing to be sent from the UK and our Thai visa quickly running out, we drove south as fast as we could so that we could base ourselves near to Phuket, which is where we'd arranged for the Carne to be sent. Everything will be okay in the end. If it's not okay, it's not the end. John Lennon. Good morning. So we had some great news yesterday. Yesterday afternoon, our carne was delivered uh, to Phuket. So Wayne, my friend is holding it uh, onto it for us. So we're gonna be heading down there now um, to pick that up and then continue south. And then I think we're gonna head back to Koh Lanta just to get a bit of uh, chill time uh, before we have the mad crossing back into Malaysia. Morning. Morning. Uh, how are you today? Amazing. We've had such another a lovely time. It's <laughs> like a home from home. Every time we arrive, it's like you feel so happy. Yeah, and everyone here is so <laughs> lovely. I'm not really sure what's happening. She's run off. She's like, there's fruit, fruit. You can eat next time about three day, four day, one Perfect. week. Uh, uh, you eat. And do you break it open and eat it? Yes. Oh. Many, many. No, not many, many, just two. It's okay, many. Oh. <laughs> To giving us a whole basket. <laughs> They're growing there, oh, look. That's the tree. What do they call this one? That one. So here they are, all washed up. Um, they do look like little potatoes. They do. Really, so, generally, the texture and everything is like a potato. So in three days, two or three days, she said peel them, yeah. and then you eat them, and they're really sweet. Okay. I've never seen anything like this. I'm slightly excited and nervous to be. We'll honest. try. We'll try them we'll in a few days. Them. We'll try them on the beach in Koh Lanta. Yes. <laughs> okay, we're off. It's about uh, two hours drive to Phuket, which is stop number one. Grab the carne. We're it's, making progress. It's... We're doing, we're actually ahead of schedule. I thought yeah. it was going to be really tight with the visa, but we have got a couple of days grace now. Yeah, we're keeping it together, but inside, you know that thing where you're a <laughs> swan or a duck on a pond and you're gr gliding gracefully, but inside you're a little bit, well, that's how I'm feeling today, but we're going to get the job done. That's always been our plan, and that's what we'll do. We're stopping to buy cashew nuts, and I can already see the lady's the lady's got a bag of nuts in her hand. She's going to try and give them no, to us. No, she's but not giving them to us. We're just going to we're going to say we want four. We want four. The, the problem is, is that Noi and Bo are so lovely that if you show them love, they just, <laughs> they just want to keep giving you stuff. You're trying to feed me. You have to stop it. <laughs> I'm going to buy them. I'm going to take one of those. And three, of those. Take, take three of the big ones. See? And then just leave a thousand. It's fine. Thank you. Oh, yes. Noi, no, 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 no. <laughs> Uh, thank you so much. Thank you so much. <laughs> Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. <laughs> we love you. Thank you. One day I'll come back. Bye bye. It's been so lovely. They work so, so hard. Running a bed and breakfast in farm, but then running a farm as well. Bye, we love you. See you again. The farm stay there is rural. If you're just looking for somewhere that's natural and nice, the food is great, the rooms are comfortable, there's aircon. I think a place when you stay, it's always about expectation, isn't it? And I said to one of the guys that works there, this is five star, and he said, no, no, we only get three star rating. And I was like, how? 
and he said because we're a farm and people are expecting five star if you put five star so please don't give us five star so uh, I've given them five star because I've said if you want to stay on a farm this is a farm it's an actual working farm with a bed and breakfast it's, it's lovely perfect. driving through uh, this little town here. They've got all the lanterns up from Chinese New Year. And we have actually noticed um, that it's months after Christmas, but yet they still have Christmas decks up in restaurants and places. So I'm not sure, maybe they just keep them up all year round. Maybe there are no bar humbugs in Thailand <laughs> and they just love it all year round. I think they, de they definitely don't follow the, uh, it's bad luck if you leave them up too long after Christmas, that's for sure. There we go, we've arrived. <laughs> the Pavilion's Phuket. Look at this for the en an entrance to a hotel. Beautiful bamboo. <laughs> I feel a little underdressed for the occasion, but what a beautiful hotel. It's stunning, isn't it? Look at this for a view. Isn't that just amazing? You have saved this our lives. This has saved our life. Oh my goodness. I'm all right. How are you? We got it. We got the carne. Thanks, guys. We shouldn't be back. If we do, there's a problem. Yeah. <laughs> Bye. Enjoy. <laughs> I cannot begin to tell you how much of a relief it is to have our carnate for the next year. Having an address um, with Wayne makes all the difference. It saves us having to stay in a hotel and wait for it. Um, so that's fabulous. Wayne, we love you and appreciate you. Thank you so much for being one of our fabulous friends. Phew. What a relief. I was starting to get a bit worried that it would arrive after our Thai visa expires. After such a mad week, I'm looking forward to having a couple of days on the beach in Koh Lanta before we attempt to cross back into Malaysia. We've arrived back at the ferry. It's busy. I think we might have to Head wait for the west. next one. Have to go back about 500 meters. Yeah, I'm not sure why. Last time we bought the ticket at the thing, it's changed. It's changed. Look at that. In just weeks. It's weeks has changed. changed. There you go. I understand. Um, last time we paid 300. Just two people. Yeah. 130. 130. Kapunka. It was worth going back because it was west. only 180 this time, and last time we we, we paid 300. Colanta, here we come. Down this lane. We've got a tarmac floor. Oh yeah, it has. That's quite funny. That is the oddest. I've never seen a ferry with a tarmac floor before. Okay, welcome back to Koh Lanta, everybody. Oh, and uh, lovely. lovely. We've got about 20 minutes and uh, we'll rock up back at uh, where we stayed last time. Oh, there's monkeys there, look. Monkeys everywhere. <laughs> I love it.
Oh, that's it. There you go, we're back. Best house. We called the lady uh, on the way down and she said, don't worry, I've got the same room for you. Ta-da! <laughs> it's because it's got the fastest internet, apparently. We can see Trudy right there. Oh, I love it. <sighs> I think we should uh, go and say hi to Mr. Dan. Yeah, I think we should. Let's go and surprise him. He doesn't know we're coming, but we just thought when when we left, we said, oh, we'll see you soon. We won't leave it 20 years this time. But he's not um, expecting it to be that soon. I don't expect he didn't think it was going to be a few weeks, but we'll, we'll go and say hi. We're back. Uh, we said we wouldn't wait 20 years, so yeah. we're back with. Oh, good. Okay. Yeah. We all come you OK? Back. <laughs> That's why we came back. Come back here to relax. Look at this. Sun's just going down. Everybody's out playing volleyball while it's cooler weather. Happy? I'm with you. How could I not be happy? <laughs> it's another beautiful sunny day. Trudy is baking in the sun. But we had a very productive day yesterday. We managed to contact our shipping agent that we used in Malaysia. Um, he's getting us quotes and stuff to ship on to um, India. We're not sure of the exact plan yet, but there is a plan that has started to happen. So uh, yeah, this is our last full day here in uh, Thailand, but it seems sacrilege that we are so close to a beach and we don't actually go and jump in the sea. So I think that's exactly what we're gonna do right now. It's very warm, but yeah, this is the perfect place just to gather our thoughts and uh, just get our heads ready for the next leg of the adventure and do some planning. Three o'clock in the afternoon, so the sun's pretty intense. There's one thing about Koh Lanta, it has got absolutely stunning beaches. Volleyball nets, if you're feeling energetic in the evening. I had a massage last night. Again, can't beat a Thai massage if you come here. How good does that feel? So cool, I <laughs> oh. This is what it's about. <laughs> Very often we don't feel film ourselves jumping in the water, but it's definitely, uh, I'm pleased to share it. Koh Lanta is absolutely stunning. This coastline, it goes for miles, miles down there, and the beach goes all the way down there with this lovely blue water. Yeah, any disappointment about our trip right now is just washing away. <laughs> We're heading now, we're gonna walk um, to Mr. Witt's uh, sister's restaurant, family restaurant, and uh, take you guys with us. We're gonna go and show you, it's a very cool place. We met Mr. Witt 25 years ago when we came to Koh Lanta on our honeymoon. And when we arrived back last month, we gave him a surprise visit. <laughs> we are scared, you. Ah, you remember us? You yeah, yeah. You haven't changed at all. I love uh, these back roads on Koh Lanta the old dirt roads. This is really how it used to be back in the day when we uh, we came all those years ago. We it's... were cool, young backpackers, <laughs> you know, just hanging out. These are back streets of uh, Koh Lanta, definitely have that sort of island vibe with little restaurants dotted around. Little Pad Thai streets down there. Yeah, we've heard this one's very good, but we may not have time to try it out. But I love all these little look, laundry service, 40, but per kilo. Yeah, in Thailand, just because the traffic's going one way, look both ways, because uh, motorbikes go both ways down the road. There you go. Where else? So Mr. Witt's uh, old place we stayed on our honeymoon was called, called Where Else? And they've moved here, but now it's a restaurant and it's got very funky designs. Looking around, it took us back to the original warehouse and our honeymoon. A lot of the original features were moved here when they had to relocate. And it really does have a cool laid back island vibe about it. In fact, we thought it was so cool that we wanted to share it. So we had an online drink with some friends. Get ready folks. 
We got Maria and Lilas in the uh, house. Yay! Hey guys, how are you? Guys. <laughs> Hello. Cheers. Cheers. Hello. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, and if you're wondering, yes, the food was absolutely delicious. Good morning, it's 7 a.m. Today is the day that we have to drive back to Malaysia. Hopefully, after all the drama we had in Malaysia uh, with the police stop, that we get in without any problems. Otherwise, we have a big problem. Are you ready? I'm ready. I have Thai paperwork. I have Malaysian paperwork. <laughs> I think we've got our paperwork. Okay, let's go. Thank you very much. We'll see you again. It's lovely this time in the morning. The sun is just coming up. It's quiet. It's funny with the, these island life and holiday. It's like people are either big smiles because they're coming or they look really sad because they're <laughs> leaving. And uh, although we're not on holiday, we're on this big challenge. This has felt like a mini break. And uh, yeah, I'm definitely sad we're leaving. I've had such a great time with the family and everybody. It's been lovely. Thank, Thank you, you, my friend. It was 130 baht for the uh, ferry ride. While we're waiting, I'm going to clean the windscreen. Oh, good. Because it is absolutely terrible with the sun hitting it. I think we arrived just at the right time because there's loads more cars coming in now. What a beautiful spot. Yeah, I'm definitely going to miss uh, Koh Lanta. Oh, I don't know whether we're going to make it. It's looking a bit full. What do you reckon? Well, Trudy one, is quite two, small. One, two, three, four, five. No, I don't think we're going to get on. Do you not think? No. There was a lot of cars that came off this ferry. It is amazing how they squeeze them on, but looking at it, I can't see how they'll get another five. It's like a game of Tetris though, isn't it? <laughs> Second, we'll be hanging off the edge. Nah, you're not getting on there. No chance. Oh, we're going? We're going. We're going, okay. <laughs> I think you owe me five pounds. Really? Are we gonna get on there? Yeah, we'll get on. We're on. We're on. That's them. That surprises me. And then all the bikes are coming next to us. Okay, while the ferry is going, it's probably a good opportunity to tell you the plans for the day. So uh, yeah, we're hoping to get down to the border to cross into Malaysia about one o'clock, 1.30. Um, and then the plan is we're gonna drive just south of Kuala Lumpur back to Camper RV um, to see the guys there because we're going to do a little bit of work on Trudy before we ship her to India. I can't believe I'm actually saying that I know, out loud. I know, to India, India from um, Port Klang. It's going to be a very quick journey down through Malaysia. Um, it's about seven hours, eight hours drive the other side once we cross the border. Um, so we won't be able to make it in one day. So we'll find somewhere to sleep a couple of hours into Malaysia. 
but the, uh, the next leg of the adventure is about to begin. So the, uh, the lady in the hostel was saying that the, um, they're building a bridge in four years time. This ferry will be no more, uh, which is a shame because it's kind of fun and keeps it cut off from the really, really busy, easy access. So uh, a bridge, I'm sure, will make the island a little bit busier. We've arrived. No, no scraping. Morning. Morning! Morning. <laughs> My goodness, look at this queue. So there's a the moral of the story. Don't go to Koh Lanta at eight o'clock in the morning. Right, sit back, relax for the, uh, the drive to the border. Borders are always a bit nerve wracking as they never really go to plan. But heading back to Malaysia this time has added an extra level of nervousness because when we were there last time, we had a bit of an incident with the police. Basically, we got pulled over for speeding, but what we didn't realize at the time was that we were actually being bribed. I issue number for you and you pay at police station, okay? Okay, perfect, yeah, can. Or pay you. After publishing the video of the incident, it ended up going viral, and we ended up on every news channel in Malaysia. Three traffic police officers have been remanded for allegedly requesting a bribe from a British couple to settle a traffic summons. So we were not quite sure how the authorities will welcome us at the border and beyond. One of the things we had to organise um, to get back into Malaysia is an onward flight. Because um, whenever you enter, they need to see that you're leaving. Well, the problem is, we don't really know when the ship is to India. Um, and so it's very hard to book a flight um in advance but we have we booked an air asia flight we paid for the flexi so we can change it so uh, we have actually booked the flight from kl to kolkata Woo! that yes. sounds mad can you imagine fan life in india well we haven't even been there on holiday let alone <laughs> taken a vehicle there so it's going to no. be fascinating and uh, i'm excited to get driving in india china would have actually been a lot easier in some ways because you're with a guide and you, you have to drive across China in like three weeks um, and then it's across some of the stands, Georgia, Northern Turkey, it would have been a direct route. But this is the only route that we can now travel as Brits in a van um, trying to drive back to Europe. So yeah, it's, uh, it's not easy at all, um, but we'll do it. And the challenge has always been about getting ourselves and our van around the world. Quick pick stop, Cafe Amazon. We got a nice latte, but what I love is you see how they fold this napkin around so that the condensation doesn't get your, your lap wet. I just think that's so cool. I was like, I don't understand how it sticks, but they just folded it and wrapped it. We okay. just had a lesson. We got a lesson from the lovely guy in the shop. He was very helpful. Thank you very much. As we're driving along, you see trees, lots of trees with these long like pods hanging off them. Um, when we were with Paddy, he actually said that they were um, pods for the stinky beans that apparently they put in, um, in curries over here. Okay, we've got about 20 minutes to the border. How are you feeling? <laughs> you know, every border we do, there's a problem. I don't think we've ever had one that's gone smoothly yet. Yeah. So uh, I don't know what today's gonna throw at us, but if all goes according to plan, we should be in uh, Malaysia in a couple of hours. And no two borders are the same. You can cross the same border 
two or three times and depending on whoever's at the border it can be a different experience yeah so. definitely yeah fingers crossed So originally when we did the vehicle paperwork, they said, make sure you go to customs before you go to immigration and hang your passports in. But there's actually two customs office, so we're not really sure which one we need to go to. There's one that says it's closed. Yeah, Google says 11. it's closed. It may not be though. So we'll try that. If not, there's the one that we walked to where they stamped us in. Okay, so it does say there's a customs house on the left and there you go customs house okay we're going in we'll see you in a minute Ooh. okay it's not here we have to do it at the border um but at least we check so we don't have to drive a couple of miles back to here if they sent us back we've still got quite a way to the border and already you can see there's lorries all waiting outside customs house here might be a busy border, I'm not sure. We're just entering the town of Danok, which is, uh, for those of you that have been following us for a while, this is where we entered into Thailand uh, a couple of months ago, and it didn't quite go according to plan, and we spent nine days waiting for the paperwork here. Hopefully that we don't have that problem again. But the uh, the Vista Hotel there, that is the hotel that we, we stayed in whilst we were here. And uh, the border is literally a short distance in front of us. In fact, the agent that we use has just messaged to say, just drive straight up to the border. So we are heading in the right, the right place. There is loads of trucks parked up now. Not on mine, there's no bikes shipping out of that side. Like that. Wait. Sorry. <laughs> Fortunately. Because they just come on through, don't they? Fortunately, I'm a professional driver. You are, Marianne. Oh, these trucks, this is wild. I think the, I think the trucks have a separate, um, separate lanes that's why it's bollarded off in fact the three cars in front are all malaysian cars probably heading back so i think we've avoided the lorry queue oh there you go look cars and motorcycles buses and vans and trucks okay we're gonna go and try and get trudy stamped out so uh, we'll see you in a minute okay so we went in and uh, we asked the guys they said if you're in a vehicle not a motorbike just drive around go to the passport and then you visit the building after the passport. So uh, it's the same as when we arrived. So now we're gonna drive through immigration and then go to the building. So camera's off again, and we'll uh, update you in a moment. Okay, we've gone through the first immigration um, desk and they took our temporary import permit for Trudy, but from the first time we did it, not the second one. So Marianne's just run back to the, uh, the desk to give the second one uh, just to make sure and then we're not sure whether we need to go into the building to do any more but I think that it's all done there we'll see okay so apparently we've got to take a tip to uh, number eight gate number eight is where we've got to go That's my sticker. No Instagram, no nothing on it. That's okay. Here we go. We met this guy. What's your name? Tristan. Tristan. Ah, Tristan. Yeah, I'm uh, on a world record attempt to be the youngest person to uh, circumnavigate the world on a motorcycle. That's amazing. That's yeah, incredible. that's where amazing. Are you from in Germany. Frankfurt. Frankfurt in Germany. There you go. <laughs> He's nephew. driven. My nephew lives in Frankfurt. So there you okay. go. He's driven from Germany. <laughs> crazy man. He's more crazy than us. <laughs> Yeah, that's a cool trip. 21 years 21, old. going around the world. Yeah. Take care, Justin. See you again. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Welcome back to Malaysia. We did it. Uh, it was a very interesting experience. Every single person from the police, the uh, other police counter, the immigration and customs all looked at us and went, oh, you're the guys on YouTube, right? <laughs> and we were like, yes. So, uh, yeah, but they still let us in. So welcome I, back yeah. to Malaysia. We're very pleased to be back. We're looking yeah. forward to our short time here while we, we prep to ship on 
Um, but yeah, we've got a hotel booked about an hour, an hour south of here. So yeah, sit back, relax, enjoy the drive as the sun goes down here in Malaysia. Yeah, it's a little bit crazy. Literally every other car is holding their, kept their phone out the window, taking videos of it's, Trudy driving. It's been a really nice warm welcome. Everybody's <laughs> waving, everybody's like doing this. So thank you everybody for welcoming us back. We love Malaysia. We will be back again in the future. This trip, we are going to the port and shipping to India. It was such a relief to have made it back into Malaysia. And with such a warm welcome, from both the authorities at the border and the people on the road. Thank you, Malaysia. Just one point from the uh, border crossing. Online it says that we didn't need a car nay, but actually at the border, even though we're coming over land, we did need a car nay. So just bear that in mind if you're planning to do such a trip. Old booth, but we've still got our touch and go card from last time, and it's still got credit on it, which is amazing. We accidentally overtopped it when we uh, when we left. <laughs> There's somebody waving. Trudy's famous in Malaysia now. It appears so. She's had lots of honks, toots, and waves. The sun's just going down over the paddy fields here in northern uh, Malaysia. It looks absolutely stunning. Okay, we've booked a hotel, which is on this golf course, I think. But it's out of town, quiet all we need. Listen to those bugs. <laughs> That's a welcome. Nice. Oh, good morning. I don't feel like I've slept enough last night. I forgot the uh, time difference. Malaysia is uh, an hour ahead. So yeah, so it's only uh, half seven, which is half six Thai time. Morning pups, how are you doing? Oh, it's definitely cooler here. Oh, the sun's just coming up in the distance there. Oh, I'm, it is the best time of the morning, isn't it? It is. Okay, let's show you the plan for today on the map. So we're currently about here, and the plan today is we're gonna drive all the way south, south of Kuala Lumpur to Seremban, which is where we're gonna leave Trudy, um, at Camper V, um, who's gonna do a little bit of work on her before we ship her, and then we'll get a grab back to KL, um, where we'll base ourselves until the shipping's sorted and Trudy sorted. So it's about five and a half, six hours drive today. We better hit the road. Right, there's the rock and roll. <laughs> we just had a family of monkeys run across the road. A so I still tree. can't get used to having monkeys. Honestly, it's just unbelievable. The trees moving by the side of the road and then a family go running. It's nice to be back in Malaysia. Sad that it's going to be such a short trip, but uh, I'm sure we'll get some nice food. It's funny how I always think of food. It's not funny that you always think of food. I'm a foodie. You just eat, sleep, dream food. <laughs> Yeah. 
Right. Keep going, it's fine. Yeah. You don't do nothing wrong, you don't do nothing wrong, right? <laughs> He's looking at you. Is he? Yeah. He's probably thinking, let's just get out of here. Oh, great. <laughs> right by the red traffic light. <laughs> he spotted you. <laughs> Hi, good morning. Tell him a buggy. <laughs> and then they waved the window down and looked at us. <laughs> All good, they gave a nice smile away. They way. did, that was really sweet. He gave me That's a massive I mean. grin. He gave me a, the biggest grin. You ever. have one one little incident. Yeah. You can't let it change your opinion of a country. It's just an incident. Every other interaction has been wonderful, so I'm sure uh, there's no problems. Turn left here. We decided to take the main highway south so we could drop Trudy off and start arranging the next leg of the adventure as soon as possible. Whenever we ship there's so much to organise and with India's hot summer fast approaching we needed to ship as soon as possible. Wow, might take longer than six hours. <laughs> I get to spend quality time with you. Oh, quality time with my wife. Yeah. What more do I want, yeah. right? Exactly. <laughs> so while we're driving, we'll just give you a quick outline of the work that we're planning to do on Trudy. If you remember, when we shipped to the US, we had some stuff stolen um, from the back of the van. And that's because when you ship roll on, roll off, uh, you leave the keys with the shipping crew and they have access to everything in your van. So what we're looking at doing is building some kind of support um, behind these two seats and putting extra locks um, on the side door and back door because that way they only have access to the cab where we're sat now and everything in the back will be secure. That's if all goes according to plan. I don't know whether it's possible but the guys at Camper RV uh, said they'll have a look for us. Of course when we shipped from Korea we were on a flat rack and we didn't have to leave the keys, we kept the keys. So if we do have that option, we will do that. Um, but we're just being preventative at the moment. He's guffing a bit there, isn't he? <laughs> There's one thing Malaysia's got is beautiful landscapes. These hills and the forest, the trees are absolutely stunning. Yeah, the mountain tops are absolutely pristine jungle. The flatland's been farmed, hasn't it? But you can see yeah. that there's still so much of the rainforest. Yeah, it's definitely very, very green. Which is helping with the smokiness in the air. Yeah, it's very smoky today. Normally the uh, the smoke comes from fires, I believe in Indonesia, um, but Thailand had smoke from burning the farmland and it seems a bit smoky here this morning as well. Made it back. Camper V. It's taken how long? Eight hours. Yeah. Eight and a half hours. It's been a hell of a drive. Yeah, Google said five, but it was eight. There was bad traffic. There you go. Whip. So Sham Sham is gonna look after our van for us, right Sham? <laughs> Cut that, cut that. 
<laughs> so they yeah they're gonna they're gonna try and build the shutter and do a few other bits okay. so we're leaving it in sham in, in capable muslim, hands in muslim you said inshallah i will do for you inshallah mashallah Masha <laughs> <laughs> okay go to kl Heavens of Oakland. Like a river. With thunder and lightning. Uh, okay. 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 Thank you very much. This is the same flat we stayed in last time with Molly. Molly. When we first arrived in KL. Oh, there we go. Home sweet home. Make sure you subscribe and join us next week as we drop Trudy off, jump on a plane, and arrive in India's third largest city, Kolkata. I can't believe I've actually just said that. Mm -hmm.